Uh, okay, so um, Julian worked at IHP Gosh from 1997 to 2005, and he worked in kind of all of the levels. He was a teacher, a senior teacher, a young learner coordinator, and at DARTS. So the first thing that I'm going to ask him is, what do you remember about working at IHP Gosh? And maybe in each of those stages. In each of those, that's, yeah. how long do we have? Um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, what do I remember? I remember first arriving at, on, at the beginning of January 1997, feeling like I'd been transported back to the 80s um, and trying to navigate my way to the school, which was then uh, situated on Dvorzova, next to the train station, in the big tower ultra building, um, and um, going for a cheese and wine on the first meet and greet, because when I arrived, there were about 35 teachers, and quite a lot of them, quite a lot of us were new. Um, and, um, and the director of studies at the time, Leslie Painter, who I never actually met until years later, she'd gone to IH London to train up as a CELTA tutor. So I didn't really know the director of studies, we had an acting DOS, but I just remember just kind of being blown away with kind of how cool everything was. And it was very informal back in those days as well. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I remember kind of when I first got there. And then I suppose that the different roles um, at the at the end of June in 1997, um, everybody left apart from four people, basically. And so I stayed on and worked at a cement company through the summer on my own. Um, a new DOS came in September, and then we were really short staffed in terms of um, I, I got a position of senior teacher for younger learners because of some history with teaching children um, when I was at university, and. Um, but then that very quickly kind of got bumped up without the title, but to more of an ADOS position because we didn't have any senior staff. We had me and the new director of studies. Um, and um, I remember sharing an office with a teacher trainer that was sent out from IH London, which was phenomenal. Um, really good experience very early on. I remember having to write tests for the entire school, um, which was insane. I look back on now, but taught me a lot about materials. So very quickly, that senior teacher position didn't really take. And then in September 97, I signed a contract until June 2000, which involved the Younger Learner course, the, 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 the last D Tefler as it was then, and, um, and then became Younger Learner coordinator. So, and then I did that for a couple of years, um, which was um, really enjoyable. And that's where we, we then first, um, we painted the kids room, and we started teaching five and six year olds for the first time. Um, and yeah, so. And was the school at Piotrowski ago by then? Had it, had it moved then? Or? No, we were still, the, the first kids room was in the Ultra building, the big building there. And we were there until probably 2003, maybe, if I remember correctly. Because then when we, we were moving into the new building, when we ran our first IHCYL. I remember saying to Jay Gosh, I need two weeks where I'm not doing DOS work to get this course running. And he was great, you know, about that. But we were doing this course around construction, trying to get the, um, the building ready for uh, the start of September. So we did it the last two weeks of August, if I remember correctly. And that would have been around 2003, maybe, mm -hmm. I guess. So, yeah. And how did you step up into the DOS role? Um... Initially, quite reluctantly, I wanted to be a young learner trainer back then, uh, and um, but the, the circumstances didn't really lead to that, um, and um, and so I kind of I, I applied for it. it. Came up just as I'd finished the the year after I finished the D Tefler. It came up then, and I did my exam. Back in those days, you it was stressful because you had to do two written exams. Um, as you had you taught for the entire course and on a, on a, what is now the Delta. But then you did two external lessons and external assessment would fly in and assess you. And then you had two mornings of exam essay writing, which was stressful. Um, and uh, so, but thankfully past that, you know, bearing in mind I was 23 at the time. And, um, and then I think after that, my experience started to catch up with what, I what I'd been learning previously. Uh, and, uh, and so in 1999, I took the job, the DOS job role. And, um, and yeah, and after that, we kind of, it was really interesting to listen to what I think Claire had mentioned before about the train that teachers would come in and do workshops. And I, and I kind of talk about this a lot of the time with teachers when I work with them, but in Bidgosh, we had an exam class PD every week. We had 
young learner book groups, which were run by second or third year teachers. We had um, the, a CELTA course running every Friday for the new teachers straight off a of CELTA um, for their PD, which either I would run or one of the experienced teachers would run. We had a pre-dip group running. So on an average week, you had teachers going to about three, three sessions, but going off in different directions, being run by different people at different stages of their career in Bidgosh. And so that was kind of a really exciting time. And when you're saying about book groups, is that the sort of level meeting? I, yeah, I suppose it would be, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So we'd have one for primary, one for teenagers, mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then adults. And then teachers were encouraged as well to kind of get together and form their own if they were teaching the same book. Okay, interesting. It's, it's really interesting to hear where those things came from that are like so much part of the school now. Um, and um, what have you done since you left the school in 2005 then? What kind of things have you worked on? Yeah, so I left in 2005 um, initially to do... Well, I was doing CELTA here in Halifax, at the, at where it used to be at the private language school. And, um, and I actually had a return ticket to go back to Poland in October of 2005. But then fortunately, I suppose for me, one of the, one of the trainees, one of the trainers, sorry, left. And then I was offered a, a full-time contract and all visas and work permits and everything to get sorted out. And so I stayed there for seven years running the CELTA program but was also fortunate to go and go off and freelance in other places. Um, I remember doing a young learner extension course when that was a thing um, back in 2008 in, in Barcelona. And that's when I first came across CLIL, yeah. um, which um, I, I must have missed in the four year, three or four years after leaving Bidgosh. And, uh, and so that kind of piqued my interest into kind of finding plurilingualism, plurilingual education, which uh, then got me in contact with Doe Coyle, who wrote one of the books on CLIL. And I ended up doing um, my master's through the University of Aberdeen when she was there in plurilingual education, which um, kind of really then set, reset me in, in my interest in subject-specific literacy. So the language of geography, the language of history, the language of mathematics, um, and how everyone is a language teacher, not just a language teacher. Um, and, uh, and then that kind of coincided in 2012 with me moving to the university as the academic manager. And that was an experience going from private language sector into the public sector mm -hmm. and unions and all sorts of interesting uh, things. So that really kind of grew me. I didn't want to go back into educational management necessarily after six years doing it in Bidgosh. I liked the training, but actually I'm, I'm glad I did because it opened a lot of doors. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions for you then? about what he's, what he's done or about the history of the school potentially as well. <laughs> <laughs> Get to speak to people about how the school was before. Okay, I think that's everything then. Thank you very much, Julian. You're yeah, welcome. Fascinating, thank you very much. You're welcome, no thanks for having me. It's great to be here. And hi, Jagosh. Was such a great foundation. And then also being in the, the IH network, um, you get to know so many people. Um, either whether it's through conferences, obviously now we can be virtual. Um, and so, um, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of, of the place. That's excellent, thank you. <laughs>